best friend. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. So today is not going to be like a, a lesson or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to talk about, um, I guess, streamlining like different platforms. I don't know how many different platforms you guys are on. I know a lot of people have multiple platforms. They sell on eBay, Poshmark, Amazon, Macari. Um, Bonanza, um, Facebook Marketplace. It's just so many of them. It, it can get overwhelming. I know they have softwares out there that you can use to um, kind of like multi-fulfill items. Like I know with eBay and Amazon and eBay and Bonanza that you can kind of like multi-fulfill saying that if you have one item on each of those sites, if it sells on one item, it'll take it off. Rather than if you went to like a offer up and a Facebook, you would actually have to, if it sold on Facebook, you would have to take it off Facebook. So, I mean, take it off Macari because, you know, there's no type of um, software involved to let that other platform know. So yeah, so I've just been thinking lately of getting rid of a couple different platforms because it just can be so overwhelming and then just keeping up with all of the updates and things like that and just, I don't know, I'm just thinking about narrowing it down to like maybe two or three, but I'm trying to decide which ones are my favorite. I pretty much have a good idea, like there's no way I'm getting rid of Amazon, like, no way, like, that, I feel like Amazon is, like, number one, eBay and Amazon is pretty much up there for me, so I will definitely keep those two, um, but, like, a Poshmark, Bonanza, I have, and, I dig and dab into Facebook Marketplace as well as OfferUp, but I'm thinking that, I don't know, I may kind of like just keep those um, on and off. I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of stuff on those platforms, so I'm thinking about maybe just kind of like putting stuff on there, different things, like if I don't want to ship it, but I want to sell it, I may put that on like a Poshmark. I mean, not a Poshmark uh, offer up or Facebook Marketplace, but not just kind of continue as having like a set store there. You know what I'm saying? So just let me know, like, what do you think? What are your thoughts about the different platforms? What do you like better? What do you like least about the platforms? Um, what's your favorite? Which one's are selling most of your items for you. That's why I just absolutely love Amazon. Um, I love Redbubble, but that's a different story because you're kind of like designing everything there. You don't have to like post anything. But I don't know. I have to keep, I'm going to have to say Thread Up too. I have to keep Thread Up because Thread Up has gotten me to be more, I don't want to say lazy, but I like that concept that they have where you just send in you're just sending things in as well as Amazon FBA now I do a lot of Amazon uh, merchant fulfill myself but I'm going to get back into FBA because I want my life to go a little more smooth where I'm not doing so much work on the back end but you know on the front end of course you have to find the products and with everything being so new as far as um, going out thrifting that I'm the things that I'm used to I want to try to switch everything over to kind of like doing online um, arbitrage rather than you know retail arbitrage so with that concept with Amazon and thread up I really love the only thing about thread up right now is I think they're a little well, I know they're a little overwhelmed with all the stuff that had came in, like right before COVID and everything. So um, 
they kind of like put a stop to you sending anything into the company. So I actually did have several bags lying around. So I actually got all of those taken care of and sent my last one out yesterday. So I'm still like being able to, you know, send in different items. So I'm just kind of like, I don't know when they are going to start back up. I don't know if I should, you know, buy items and just kind of like, you know, keep them around which I really don't want to do because my thing is I just don't have a lot of space. So I don't want to look like a hoarder or anything like that. And that's what you like. That's what you like. But for me, no, I need organization so I can think clear. Um, so I, I'm definitely going to keep Posh, I mean, not Poshmark, but Amazon, ThreadUp, and eBay are my top three. Those are my top top three. I'm definitely, definitely letting go Bonanza because, I mean, I was getting sales on there, but it was like periodically. It wasn't like a consistent basis. And that store is linked with my eBay store. So I would get sales on eBay um, pretty consistent, but not on Bonanza. So I guess they just don't have the traffic that they need to have. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, I never really dibbled in um, Macari or anything like that. Now Poshmark, I get sales there, but it's just the whole sharing and parties. And you know, I'm just, I'm just not into that. I'm sorry. I'm just, it's I tried it. I put a couple things on there. I got a few sales, but Hmm, I guess I didn't give it my all, but I don't really feel like I want to. <laughs> I don't know. I just, the whole sharing and all of that, it's just, I mean, I don't have time for it. Based, to put it plainly, like, I don't have time for that. Like, I mean, the parties and everything, I never really, I know I, there's a party all the time, but I mean, that's fun. But I don't know. But let me know what you think. Let me know what's your favorite. Let me know if you like Poshmark. Um, am I missing some stuff with Poshmark? I don't know. So let me know about that one. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm just trying to figure out which ones I want to let go. I'm, yeah, I think I pretty got my, I pretty much have my mind made up. So. I'm going to go with that. But if you have any suggestions, let me know. Put them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And next time I will see you in the video. I think we're going to do another. If you would like to do something about um, Redbubble or Amazon, put it in the description. Let me know. And then I'll know what to do for the next video. If not, we'll probably do... Um, Amazon has a lot of new concepts coming out. I know now they have like the phone designs that you can make for the different cell phone covers. And they also came out with, um, what was it? Oh no, they came out with the phone designs, but the other update that they had, they came out in, um, like France and France and Italy and I want to say, I want to say, no, I won't say Russia, but I don't, I'm not sure. I forgot. I forgot. I have to look into it, but yeah. So I don't know. Is Amazon trying to level up? I mean, because you will have a long way to go Amazon and this is Amazon merch. So it's so many different platforms. I mean, I'm just lingering over to different ones, but yeah, I'm definitely keeping Merch and Redbubble. Those are like, yeah, I love those too. So yeah, but you will have a long way to go if you're trying to keep up with Redbubble. Now, the traffic that Redbubble gets is nowhere compared to Amazon, but just the amount of concepts that Redbubble has just... 
I'll blows Amazon on a different level, but you know, Amazon is just like up here. <laughs> Red bubble, like you don't you have a lot of concepts, but really you don't compare to Amazon because a lot of people still don't even know about Redbubble. So all right, you guys, yeah, so I don't want to keep on lingering on. So let me know in the comments because I am I am um I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. All right. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.